I started poetry first before I started writing. And I did my first EP about this nigga. And then after the heartbreak song, I just continued to write and I just got better. I don't know. I don't think it was a realization. It just kind of continued to grow. So, yeah. I am Your Blind Beauty. You can find me on Instagram at Your Blind Beauty. I am an artist who happens to be blind. Um, again, my Instagram is Your Blind Beauty. And if you look at my bio, you can see my link tree that has all of my social media platforms and streaming services. Also, go check out Shady Characters Podcast. I am a co-host, along with also known as Underscore Twin. And the song that we're doing today is Revenge, because these niggas is trifling. So, yeah. Once upon a time, there was a bum ass nigga from the Bronx, right? And he was a bum ass nigga, and I met him. And he was a bum ass nigga, and we got together. And he was a bum ass nigga, and he cheated on me, and he was a bum ass nigga, so I wrote a song about a bum ass nigga who's a bum ass nigga. Period. <laughs> no, it was my ex-boyfriend. It was my first boyfriend. <laughs> it was about my ex-boyfriend. And he cheated on me. Something serious. I was such a good girl. But now I want revenge. Well, wanted revenge. He's nobody now. So, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I just want revenge. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. When I get revenge. Because I just, I just want revenge. In other words, nigga, you done anything that you could ever possibly do to me. This nigga has left me on the side of the road. This nigga has, he's done so much shit. So it's just like, nigga, I'm not even mad no more. I just want revenge. You know, that's it. Feelings are not there, but you gonna feel this heat. You gonna feel this pain. Period. <laughs> the next bitch you meet, I hope she break your heart. Don't want them wounds to heal. I wanna see them scars. Cheating on me was one thing, but you went too far. You fucked her in my mom's car. Damn. Um, and that wasn't no pun and metaphors and painting imagery and being extra. This nigga really did fuck her in my mom's car. He was working at the chicken plant with his bum ass. And he was picking chickens with his bum ass. And his bum ass met this bitch. And my mom would always let him use the car with his bum ass because he didn't have a car with his bum ass to go to work and um he met this girl and he fucked her in the car and i found out about it because i overheard a conversation because i got bionic ears in this bitch um so there's some perks to being blind um yeah and so i heard the conversation she was like so you didn't fuck me in her mother car ratchet bitch you ain't fuck me in her car yeah you did and to this day he denies it but i know the real I was supposed to hold you down. You were supposed to be my crown. Now you the talk around town. You, you ain't a real one. Don't be mad you showed me that. If we talking about cheating, then tonight I'm a copycat. So that was just me space basically explaining to him, like, bro, like, I was supposed to be the here. This is supposed to be me and you. Now everybody in the streets knows you a bum ass nigga, a cheating bum ass nigga now. And, you know, I'm going to do what you did to me. I'm going to do exactly what you did. So, even though I didn't, but I wanted to. I'ma do what you did, want you to bleed how my heart bled. I want you to bleed how my heart bled, but I ain't mad. So, you know, I'ma do what you did. I'm gonna, all the shit that you did to me, you're gonna feel it. I want you to bleed how my heart bled, but I physically want you to bleed. Is that violent? Yeah, whatever. Um, I want you to bleed, I want you to feel how I did. But I'm not mad though. I want you to be hurt, but I'm not mad. Like, I guess it's like a double entendre. Like I'm mad, but I'm really not. Whatever, I don't know. It's music. I told you don't call me no more. You hitting my line every night of the week. I'm here with my new nigga right next to me. Looking at your message and thinking you weak. Okay. So it's like, nigga, you keep calling me. Like, I don't fuck with you. Like, why are you calling me? I told you don't call me no more. You keep calling me. Like, me and my nigga, we kicking like, Babe, look at this. Look at this bum ass nigga. Look at this bum ass nigga texting me. So it's just like, I told you don't call me no more. You hit me li my line every night of the week. I'm looking at your messages, nigga. You're weak as hell. Like, you know? I see. 
Action is louder than words. But okay, we did it your way. Your loyalty was never hurt. Your debt to me here is your hearse. They come and get you in a second. No eulogy, where's the reverend? Nobody want to hear the truth if the lie is entertaining. So that's just talking about like action is louder than words. So you showed me. Showing me is going to tell me what you feel. But I'm like, okay, we did it your way. We, we going to see what you say. But I'm still not hearing your loyalty. Um, you know, you're dead to me. Here is your hearse. They're about to pick your ass up with your bum ass. Um, you know, here's your hearse. No, usually where's the reverend? And then, you know, you tell me that you love me and all of that. But everybody, nobody cares about the truth when the lie is entertaining. So, facts. You say you lie to me, baby, just to protect my feelings. When you out with your gang, say I'm the only one that you thinking of. You have one, two girls in your ear, one girl in your lap. Just know when I get on this private plane, I'm never, ever going to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically like anytime you say you're going out, like, babe, I'm just with my friends. You know, New York niggas. I would never do that to you. I'm, I'm out with my mans. And da, 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 and, but in actuality, you got all of these goofy bitches around you. And you say you lied to me to protect me, but we know what that is. And now when I'm leaving, in other words, when I'm taking off, whether that's my career, whether that's me physically getting on the plane, nigga, you can never get me again. Period. Yo, next girl, she can't make me jealous. She's a dash away. You're a waste, man. You're perfect for each other. Just know I'm going to be cool in any kind of weather. A dash away, because I'm Jamaican, so a dash away is like, what are you, my girl? You're a dash way. Somebody go put in a garbage bin. Like, you're a dash way. You're unwanted. And you're a waste man. So y'all perfect for each other. You know? Yeah. That was just the breakdown of my song, Revenge. Um, and I want to give a shout out to All Bars Matter, which is the reason I'm even able to break these bars down to you. And also, um, Headquarters Media. You done know. Sign off, blind beauty. <laughs>